Hi, I want to talk about an example of calculating the change in entropy for a gas that undergoes free expansion. Now an example of free expansion would be a gas that happens to be contained to part of a container that has a flimsy partition that at some point just shatters so there's no work being done expanding the gas it's just free to move once that partition goes away so there isn't any work being done for free expansion it's an adiabatic process so there's no heat being exchanged so if there's no heat and no work the change in entropy of that process change in energy rather of that process is zero the temperature of the gas would stay the same so even though the volume might go to say three times the initial volume the pressure would end up going to one-third the initial pressure because the temperature is going to remain the same. So if I were to draw a pressure volume diagram for that irreversible process, I would start at point one and I would hop over to point two. Just poof, poof. That's it. Now, strictly speaking, we couldn't sort of have a process that we follow in order to do that to use the change in entropy of a process but what we could do is take a look to see if one of our reversible thermodynamic processes could be used or a combination could be used to get us from point a to point b now with the reversible thermodynamic processes they would experience a change in entropy following along that process, but what happens is if the entropy in the gas goes up, the entropy in the surrounding system tends to go down at an offsetting rate. So if we were to run the process back exactly, we would undo whatever change in entropy we did. Now, for this model, if the temperature is the same, well, I could imagine choosing an isotherm. At that temperature T1, and I could calculate the change in entropy for an isotherm. And the gas would experience that change in entropy. So for an isotherm, the change in entropy is the number of moles times the universal gas constant, 8.31 joules per mole Kelvin, times the natural log of our final volume over our initial volume, which would give us a factor of three here. So if the gas were traveling along an isotherm for isothermal expansion, our change in entropy would be two moles times 8.31 joules per mole Kelvin times the natural log of three, which would be a change in entropy of 18.3 joules per Kelvin. That is the change in entropy of the gas. The gas increases entropy, but since there's no heat exchanged with the outside world, the change in entropy with the outside world is zero, so the total energy of the universe here has gone up, and we have an irreversible process as a result of that increase in entropy. Thanks for watching.